Meanwhile, here at the State House, the Senate and House are expected to debate over the proposed school choice bill. There is no guarantee, however, that it will be voted on tonight. Our political director, Dave Price, joins us live from the State House with more on what's expected to be a busy evening up there, Dave. Janae, the Iowa House is debating this at this hour, and I just got word from Zach Vischer, our colleague, that the Senate has now begun work on this as well. This could be a long night of debate. Really, these things always come down to how often people want to rise and speak during this. Democrats, before I left the chamber to come down here, Democrats have been talking, explaining why they believe this is not the right way to go. And specifically, they addressed what was done as the first phase of this here this afternoon, and that was to change the rules. So normally a, a bill like this would have to go through a certain process. We're talking just about that on the House side for now, but it would have to go through an appropriations process, the appropriations committee. That's the committee that looks at money matters, for example. And since this involves hundreds of millions of dollars of money, of tax money, it would normally have to go through that process. So Republicans did a special exemption for this, if you will, so they decided that it can circumvent that process. So it does not have to go through that. So it continues a theme of what Republican leadership has done here to try to speed up this process, which is why we have side-by-side -side debates going on right now, as they try to push this quickly through the process. So uh, there is a report out by the legislative uh, services agency and looking at the full impact of this I'm just checking my notes but it's 345 million dollars a year once this thing is fully implemented so it's roughly seventy six hundred dollars for families per each kid in private school once this gets fully implemented so you say the cost to taxpayers will be three hundred and forty five million dollars that's a new number that we just saw this afternoon so at this point you know it's always hard to to game play how long the debate will last but when we walked out, Democrats were going, this may come down to the question of how many Republicans want to stand up and talk about this. We, you would presume that if leadership has allowed this to come out on the House floor, that means that leadership may believe they have enough Republicans to try to push this through. Not always a guarantee, but that's usually the case. And a reminder that on the House side, there are 64 out of the 100 members that are Republicans. So a huge majority only takes 51 to get something passed so they can lose some of these Republicans and still get this passed. So a lot still to figure out tonight, though, Janae. Yeah, it is always that numbers game, and uh, you are the best at it following that numbers game for us up at the State House. Dave Price reporting live.